Why do we have a muffler on here anyways? I wanna hug it. Hey there folks, welcome back to another humongous YouTube video. Today we have a excruciating situation arisen. I've not been out here for about a week. I haven't done anything with the lawnmowers. Everything's dusty, everything's sitting, everything's cold. So guess what? It's time to get them warmed up. So here we go. So my racing lawnmower, she's been sitting here for a week. Very dusty, very dusty. All right, so now we gotta fix this thing because there's a few technical difficulties on her and we gotta fix that. Let's get into it. Now I bolt down the hood because when I'm driving it flops around and a couple times the hood came up on me. That's kind of freaky. Look at this, we already got a rock in there. I'll have to try to get that out later on. And as you see here, if I try to uh, put this up here on bricks, I could slide them underneath here or here, but that'd be a lot more harder. So I put bricks right here and I take off the muffler because it's just a lot more easier. Watch out, you better not come around here. I'll tell you why, because you might. We need another tensioner pulley because the belt's really, really loose. So man, I gotta go steal a tensioner pulley off of one of the other lawnmowers. Right now, after forever and ever, I finally got everything that we're gonna need. This right here, we're gonna take off this thing right here. We're gonna take this nut off, this bolt, and we're gonna throw it onto the racing lawnmower. So now let's just do that. There ain't nothing better than some sweet tea. Now the pain in the butt job. And that is what I'm talking about. Okay, so I haven't been underneath this thing for about two weeks. So I don't know what in the world it looks like underneath there. So it's going to be a real adventure. Real good adventure. 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 Sure. How do you say it? Oh, that hurts. Oh, I get down the dirt. And then my mama's like, Ethan, why are you so dirty? Well, mama, I don't know. Okay, so now here it is underneath it. And of course, you see all this grass and hay, just like a normal day. How does that happen? Like seriously, dude. How? Because it spins around, blah blah blah. Here's a transmission right there. Fun stuff. We finally got that pulley up underneath there. So now she's very very tight, and it'll give a little more grip on the back pulley there. So we're gonna lower this little puppy down, and we're gonna go in the backwoods and see if. She can handle it. Yeah. There we go. There you go. It's been raining here for like a full week almost. So back there's muddy. Wait. Always check the fuel and the oil. Because if you're low on oil, there goes your motor. And if you're low on fuel, you gotta walk back and get some more. to work so hard to get it going so you gotta push in the clutch you gotta do that and then And if you folks never seen the YouTube video where I put a push more mold on my riding lawnmower, go check it out. It still works. After like what? Like a month later? We're gonna test out 
um, how good she grabs now with the clutch because before the bell was just so loose, just kept on slipping. So we're gonna test that out right now. All right, well, she's as good as new. And um, if my brother was here, he would take this lawnmower back there in the woods and I'll take mine. Well, of course, they're both mine. Okay, we finally got her back here after, uh, it wasn't too much of a struggle. I just had to steer away from all the roots and everything. Right here is a little, a little muddy spot. It's pretty uneven though. I came through here yesterday with uh, the old Red Murray and that's just, Mushy mushy. This is actually where I filmed like 11 months ago with um, My old black uh, craftsman actually I had my camera sitting right there. I came around here just drifting We actually had our RV here. We hauled it off so We do got a little bit more room like not even by the end of the day Something's gonna break on this little son of a gun. So we're gonna do what no one else has done. I don't think a racing lawnmower going muddy Will it work or not? Well, there was one itty bitty bitty little stump. Okay, so right here was this itty bitty bitty little stump that stopped us. So now, oh wait, or is that a rock? That's a rock. Now we need to have the proper hat to wear for this kind of situation. That cowboy hat. Let's go. I wanna hug it. Yeah. Oh. I'm oh, not just gonna push, is he? Nope. It's still there. Mud. Is it a rock? Oh, that's the muffler. It bent. <gasps> Why do we have a muffler on here anyways? What? What do you mean something happened? It wasn't grabbing, and it was clinking and grinding, and something didn't sound right. So going mudding with the racing lawnmower, don't work. We're gonna try to get it back up to the house now. Well folks, the lawnmower, I put it into gear, and the belt still does grab, but something just grinds like crazy. I might have blown the transmission or something, I don't know, and we're gonna just leave it sit for a little couple days. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video till the end my racing lawnmower it broke i cannot figure out what in the world's going on with it so we'll try to figure that out in the future and like always we'll see you in the next youtube video adios cut